Welcome back to Planet Skyblock. Last time we observed the Flip Anon and its Sigma Male grind set. Today we'll be venturing into the catacombs and a higher floor than we've ever been to at that. The team has done extensive preparation and endured painful training to be able to survive in such harsh conditions. What we're searching for today is the Gold Door Chad. The Gold Door Chad boasts by far the highest HP and defense stats of all creatures in Hypixel Skyblock by sacrificing basically everything else, especially damage. They use their seemingly immeasurable bulk to help out their teammates by playing the tank class. This provides them with many helpful abilities, the most important of these being diversion, allowing even the frailest of creatures to survive. As such, they generally pair well with almost all the creatures in dungeons. The terracotta phase of the floor 6 boss fight is a terrific example of this, allowing others to play far more aggressive if a gold or chad tanks their hits. Often times, gold or chads will fall asleep during this phase, opting for a quick power nap. At other times, they will choose to cook a meal for their families, truly a chad thing to do. Gold or chads don't have the greatest of luck, however. Usually their teammates will get all kinds of nice rewards while they get yet another bank one book. However, unlike many other species, they are not jealous of their teammates and are instead happy for them and thankful for what they have. I think we should all adopt this great mindset of theirs. While I would love to continue on about this splendid creature right away, it says so in our contract that we must allow a message from our host, Powerliner. Ouch. Anyways, I am back once more to ruin your viewing experience. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, red button go brrrr, like button isn't happy until it's blue, and comment which species we should do next. Back to the main show we go. Wow, that was pretty fast for once. Thank you, Paulina, for realizing that no one asked. Anyways, gold or chat time. While they can often be spotted in floor 6 of the catacombs, their true home lies even deeper. The floor 7's harsh conditions seem perfectly designed for gold or chads. The stupendous damage output of Necron and his goons practically necessitate other less experienced species to cooperate with gold or chads. Their role here is truly valuable. The taunt ability allows them to easily catch Necron's attention. While this is also useful to lead Necron away from mages getting the energy crystals in phase 1, it's extremely important in order to perform an advanced technique called upcrushing. While another creature lifts the pillar, the gold or chad jumps to trick Necron into running into the pillar and allowing its higher damaging teammates to burst him down. In phase 3 of the boss fight, the gold or chad will go to its position determined by the party and quickly do all the Among Us tasks, oh, I, I, I mean terminals, it's been assigned to. Floor 7 isn't even the end of what this creature can accomplish, as it's almost always seen in Master Mode as well, due to the even more dangerous enemies that inhabit it. But the Gold Door Chad is not without weaknesses. Due to its pitiful damage output, it takes incredibly long for it to clear rooms full of mobs. Between no area of effect weapons and taking multiple hits to kill even the weakest of enemies, the Gold Door Chad will undeniably slow down its party. This is why it is usually preferred for them to do trap room and as many puzzles as possible and let the other players stick to clearing rooms. Their biggest enemies are mini bosses, with the Gold Door Chad's practically non-existent damaging capability and infinite tankiness it results in a stupidly long, stalemate-like battle. And then someone else finishes off the mini-boss anyways. The Gold Door Chad's weapon of choice is typically a livid dagger, due to its cheap price and... Uh, decent DPS. More advanced Gold Door Chads will opt for the Astria, which increases their defense even higher and even gives them another source of healing. However, no matter which weapon you put in their hands, they will not do much damage with it. 
Such is the nature of the Goldor Chad. To circumvent this, some Goldor Chads will temporarily swap to higher damaging armor for the clear portion of the run, allowing them to clear rooms much quicker than before. However, they will sometimes forget to swap their armor back when facing the boss and die a painful death without even knowing what happened. Overall, the Goldor Chad is an incredibly unique species. While they're only ever seen in dungeons, their usefulness only grows with each consecutive floor. Due to their incredibly calm nature, they are on good terms with all other creatures inhabiting the catacombs. And honestly, they're just cool in general. Join us next time as we take a look at another incredible species in the ecosystem that is Hypixel Skyblock.